Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Cameras and Coffee, where I am having a wonderful uh, eggnog latte that my wife made for me. All right, what are we going to talk about today? Should it be Canon or Nikon? Let's talk about Canon. Undeniably, Canon has had an amazing 2020, and it has been one of the best years for them in a very, very long time. Just looking at products, they've had a number of really interesting and exciting lens patents for future products that are coming out. They've released the R series, which is unarguably an incredibly exciting lineup of cameras. They um, just recently released an 8K cinema cam camera, which is very exciting to say the least. And um, they, have proven that their fan base will give them a complete pass if they release cameras that have software crippling and that it doesn't matter, their fan base will continue to give them tons of money for high-end cameras with bad software on it, which means they have a long-term and sustainable revenue stream coming from their users. But all of that said, the um, most exciting thing that Cam Canon did this year was announced, the article I found in was DIY Photography from December 20th. There's a link in the video description. The article is written by Udi Tarash and is titled, Canon comes up with a shutter button like no shutter button before it. And I think that is the best way to describe this. So there's a patent that Canon has filed, which shows the shutter button being replaced by a touchpad. Yeah, so immediate advantages to this over a shutter button. There's no hole in the body housing. It can just be put right on top of the form of the housing, which eliminates a weather sealing point. So that will reduce production cost, reduce production complexity. Very good. It will also eliminate a mechanical element of the camera, which can fail and it will eliminate a mechanical to electronic interface, which is a more complex and more expensive component than a simple electronic interface, which again further reduces production cost. Will that production cost get passed on to the consumer? I'll let you decide. Um, so the patent shows a pad. Now the patent filing is in Japanese, I don't read Japanese, I can't, but it appears to show four different sensors on the same cross pad. That to me is the most interesting part of this. Let's assume that there are four different sensors on this shutter button pad, and there's one on each side and top, bottom, left, and right. So if those four sensors can function independently, there are five very easy ways to use this, this pad. Put your finger on it, touch all four sensors, you get a function. Slide your finger one way, another function. Slide it the other way, another function. Up or down, two more functions. So if you wanted to say, let's say if, if, I were, if that is possible, which it, I'm gonna guess it is, if I were writing the firmware for this, what I would do is create an interface where using different finger motion combinations or simple finger gestures can have different effects the user can set up. So imagine that you're a photographer and this is now, this is the most powerful innovation in photography in a long time, and here's why. If you wanna do burst mode, just put your finger down and hold it, right? If you wanna take a single shot, push it, your, slide your finger one way. If you wanted to, let's say do, let's say you do a lot of real estate photography and you do need to do the same bracketed sequence of seven photos time after time after time day after day simply move your finger the other direction and the camera will know to go about that sequence okay so that's fine let's say you want to go into um, movie mode 
slide your finger up the cross pad now you start or the the shutter pad now you start recording a movie okay you never use movies you don't you only shoot stills fine don't activate that the the point is that not only could could good software if this does in fact have four independent pads on it that can that are sensitive enough to read motions in different directions good software could be used to trigger four different shutter combinations single shot burst mode an HDR preset turning video on and off are four very quick examples you could also if you can touch it and have a fifth set, a fifth mode that would be something else you, you can add to it the other thing is because there are potentially multiple finger gesture combinations with this you get rid of user modes in previous camera models in other makers as well uh, you, you could set it to like a U and that user mode would be a set of presets that you can access it would be something like aperture priority mode with two stops under exposure or overexposure or whatever or anyway you you know how to use user presets what if you could access a user preset with your shutter button Ooh. okay so you set up a user preset for a mode that you use most frequently and then move your finger top to bottom or left to right whatever it is to access that preset now you don't even have to go into a dial or a button you just move your finger a certain way and you have adjusted an entire range of camera settings so so I've been thinking about this design a lot and it's a brilliant an absolutely brilliant idea and uh, it's one of those things that is so incredibly brilliant and such a significant paradigm shift in camera interface it's like oh why didn't anyone think of this before well because this is not an easy thing to think of this is incredibly smart um, so whom, whomever or the team that thought of this at Canon and is working on it uh, they have a a great great uh, product that they could potentially be putting onto their future cameras here a great innovation so I will say of all of the camera makers this year Canon handily had the best 2020 um, Nikon had the worst so at least I would get, say they had the worst um, Pentax would be a close second worst at any rate um, so so that's really what I I just had to share is that this new patent from Canon is very exciting and it is incredibly good to see Canon putting some in, in some interesting and new innovations into their camera interface because realistically what Canon does influences the rest of the photography market so if Canon does some innovative things and they start coming up with new ideas that's going to spur the other makers to doing innovative and creative and new things if Canon sits on their laurels as they have in years past and just rides the coattails of their previous successes then the other makers will not feel an impetus to be super innovative and come up with creative ideas so when a market leader like Canon does really nifty things really cutting-edge things and really clever and creative and new ideas that is good for every camera user regardless of what make it is you like so that's our video for today and um, one other announcement of importance I have suspended my patreon 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 page it is way way too much work um, not too much it's it's a lot of work <clears throat> and if I had the free time to capitalize on it it's a great tool I don't have that free time um, so I looked at my patreon and this year was the worst of any year in terms of the amount of stuff that I was posting to it I didn't think it was fair to my my patrons to continue uh, taking their money for uh, an abject lack of content and what it boils down to is that around my my camera sales I only have about four months of the year that I can really do anything with Patreon. The rest of the year, I am going crazy 
uh, with work and orders. So um, at any rate, Patreon's canceled and uh, I will be adding subscriptions, channel subscriptions this year. Still working on the strategy for that. It's some months away. But um, for those of you who were patrons or do, who do want to contribute to the channel and have other things, uh, other benefits for contributing, uh, there will be some, uh, once I have a strategy in place for the channel subscriptions through YouTube, that will be something that is significantly easier for me to manage because it'll still be the same interface. And I can set up things that are, as I understand it, I can set up some benefits that are a little bit more perpetual. So uh, I also wanted to mention that today because that is a, a significant change. Other than that, have a great day and we will be back, I would say probably tomorrow to talk about some stuff with Nikon. Take care.